Give me three reasons why Android is better than iPhone. One sec. One, customizability. Android devices are more customizable than iPhones, allowing users to change the look and feel of their phones more easily. Two, price. Now we have the ability to integrate Siri with ChatGPT that you are seeing in action right now and this will allow you to be able to perform and do complex voice tasks and also use advanced voice commands. So what you are seeing here is ChatGPT and usually the old traditional Siri that we are used to. When you ask Siri complex commands, it just reverts to a website or some default programmed answer. So for example, example write me a paragraph on the word technology using a hundred words here's what i found so this is basically what siri found on the web and there is no direct answer from siri itself also like if you were to say give me three reasons why apple is better than android i'm pretty loyal to apple it's just how i'm made so this is a pretty generic answer too but we are going to go from that to something like this write me a paragraph on the word technology using a hundred words on it technology has made lives easier in so many ways from the various breakthroughs in medical technology to the way it has changed the way we communicate technology wow this better is better. this is amazing already you can see it's way better and way more advanced and direct than siri when we integrate chat gpt with siri also we can do another command just to show you that this works give me three reasons why apple is better than android one moment one security Apple phones are known for being far more secure than Android okay, phones. Okay, so basically you can see the three reasons mentioned here and it lists them all, which is something that's good and amazing. So that's the power of Siri integrated or merged with ChatGPT. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. So the first thing that you want to do on your device is go to OpenAI and create an account. So if you just search on Google or on your browser, openai.com, you come to their home page which is this and if you click on where it says api right there and you will see that once you click there you have the ability to log in or sign up now i created my account using my gmail email so if you have one you can create one and then once you do that you can log in so since i already have an account i will log in now and boom, I've logged in to OpenAI's uh, website now. And once you log in, you come to a page that looks like this. And you will see that ChatGPT is coming soon to our API, but you can test this out. And the way we are going to do this, if we click on the three dots right there, in the top corner that I clicked on. So just besides help, there's the three option dots. If you click there, and then you go all the way down, you see a section that says, personal now if you click on personal you see that you have the ability to view api keys now if you click that one you can see that you can read more about api keys but you also have the ability to create a secret key now if you click there you can see that it has generated an api key and you can now copy this so once you've copied your api key this is the API key. Once you've copied it, you can click there and then say copy. You are basically done. And all you have to do now is to add the shortcut that we are going to be using to merge Siri and ChatGPT. So the way you are going to get that shortcut, I'm going to leave this in the description of this video so that you can get the shortcut. And if you click on it, once you do that, it would load and once it loads, you will see the integrated scene API and then you can say add to shortcut and boom, you will see the shortcut that is this. You can see that I've been testing it out using this other one. So I'll go ahead and delete it and we'll work with this one from scratch. So once you've added your shortcut, the next thing that you want to do is to rename the shortcut. So if you click on the three dots and then you click on the top section, where is the name? You can see you have a rename section. So you can rename it to whichever voice prompt you want to use to activate this. So for me, I'll say Siri GPT. 
Siri GPT like that. And then you see where it says text, this section here with like a strange language, you want to click there and then you want to remove everything. And then you want to paste your generated API key that you, you generated on the chat GPT or the open AI's website. So if you paste that, you'll be able to see that it pasted there. And then if you go all the way down, you'll be able to see the voice prompt that you, when you basically uh, activate Siri GPT, what it will ask you. So this is what it will ask you and you can change that. So if you click there, you can remove that. And for example, we we'll say, um, we can change this with what do you want? Okay and then we are basically done so we've edited our siri gpt shortcut and then if we click done we just have to click on it once to initiate the shortcut so that it takes effects and you see that it say what you want so we just say for example test for now and then it will run once and then it will ask for permission to to be able to perform the command and boom once you allow it it takes a few seconds to initiate and then basically you can click done and your shortcut is good and ready to go. So since our shortcut name is Siri GPT, that's the phrase that we are going to use while interacting with Siri to be able to get the Siri that has been merged with chat GPT. So for example, if we go to our homepage here and then activate Siri, you can do this using voice activation or using the power button side here to be able to activate Siri. So let's test this out and see Siri GPT what do you want write me a paragraph on the word iPhone using 1000 words one moment Apple's iPhone is one of the most iconic and revolutionary products on the market it was first introduced in 2007 and has since come to define the modern smartphone with its intuitive interface and endless possibilities of customization. As Apple introduced the world to their first phone. Wow. Phone wow. How I'm just amazed. Like you can see how much information and detail Siri GPT or Siri integrated with chat GPT has. You can basically ask any question that you have. Siri GPT. What do you want? Give me 10 reasons why saving money is bad for you. On it. One, you miss out on opportunities to take advantage of deals and discounts. Saving money can be a great way to build wealth. But if you don't take advantage of deals and discounts, so you can see that it has given me the 10 reasons that I asked for and not only does it list them, but it also gives a description or an explanations of the reasons. I reduced the volume, but you can see if I put up the volume, it's, it's pretty good and it's very active. You can even ask things such as Siri GPT. What do you want? Give me three reasons why Android is better than iPhone. One sec. One, customizability. Android devices are more customizable than iPhones, allowing users to change the look and feel of their phones more easily. Two, price. Android phones often cost less than iPhones, making them more accessible to a wider range of users. Three, variety. Android okay, offers a wide so this is probably going to make a lot of Android users happy, but you can see that now you have the ability to merge Siri with ChatGPT using this method that I've shown you. Shout out to Miguel for displaying and being one of the first people to show this around. Now, one of the tips that I might have to give you if you want to use this more often on a daily basis is to add this to your home screen. So if you want, you can basically add this shortcut to your home screen or if you want, you can also share it with people so that you have quicker and faster access to it. And also you'll be able to share it with a number of people. So that's how you can do it to integrate or merge Siri with chat GPT. You can always rename it to any name that you want. And that will be the name that you use to trigger while interacting with Siri to like use Siri Elite or Siri Pro or GPT Siri or Siri OpenAI, whatever name you want to come up, 
up with. You can even say like Siri Eric or Siri Ben, Siri Frank, whatever name you wanna come with. And that's the name that you are going to basically use Siri to trigger the Siri that has been integrated by ChatGPT. So it's pretty good. And it's a nice way to be able to add this shortcut and interact with it. Now, that's about it for me when it comes to this. I do cover quite a number of tricks and tips like this as well. If you are interested in that, definitely do subscribe and stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.